We told you at the top of the hour we're tracking new information tonight about immediate changes to the budget for Omaha Public Schools, changes that will affect every school before this academic year comes to a close. Brandon Scott has been looking into this for us and has more details, Six View Live. John, the district is stressing that this is not a budget cut, but rather a budget adjustment to save money for the future. But no matter what you call it, the fact is all Omaha schools will have less money to finish the remainder of this school year. The district plans to take a total of $5 million back from the school's discretionary budget and instead put that money into a financial reserve. The aim is to save that money to help pay for expected increases in enrollment and expenditures for the next academic year. So what does this mean for students? From now until summer, a reduction in field trips, no new computers, and for teachers, possible belt tightening with budgets for supplies, books, and equipment. Today, we talked to some parents to get their take. I understand they're cutting, but at the same time, school is important. These kids need to know that we're there and we're here to help them. And I mean, everything is for them, basically. We're here in Field Club District, and it's one of the poor districts. The average family income is only about $30,000 per year. And it's it disheartening to know that they're cutting the things that the children need the most. These are the families that can't afford to take their children to the zoo and to the Children's Museum and other things that are life building experiences for the kids. So it's it's sad to me to know that uh, that OPS is cutting those things out of the budget. Now it's worth repeating that these changes go into effect again this academic year. And John, while Mary, many parents we talked to said they are indeed concerned, the district maintains that this is a smart financial move to bolster its bottom line. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Danker, Brandon Scott, WOWT 6 News.